Good morning, Hamilton. I'm so excited to see you here today on Monday, April 8th. It's going to be a wonderful day of working hard and being kind. I'm really excited that I get to be back here with all of you. So you might have noticed that I was not here for, um, for part of last week. So my wife and I had a baby, which is really exciting. Some of your teachers might have told you already we had a baby boy. We didn't know if it was going to be a boy or a girl, so we were surprised. Um, we had the baby on, or my wife had the baby on Tuesday, um, and we got to go home on Thursday, and I'm excited to, um, uh, to get to share everything about it with, with all of you. We named him Thomas Jude Kilmer, that's his name, um, and his nickname's Tommy. So I have Benny, Robbie, Thea, and Tommy is the, is the baby. He's a lovely baby. He's wonderful. You just want to um, hold him all day long. That's that's all I want to do. He's he's a really great kid, um, and we're really happy. Our family feels much more complete. So, um, I'm but I'm very happy to be back with all of you all too. It's going to be a great day of working hard and being kind. Okay, so let's see if we can get started with some announcements. So I missed some birthdays last week um, because I. Uh, I wasn't here. So on the on the fifth, it was Isabella's birthday in Ms. Mauer's room. On the seventh, um, it was Elijah's birthday in Ms. Moyer's room, and it was Talia's birthday in um, Mrs. Larson's room, and it was Aaliyah's birthday um, in Ms. Smith's room. Today it is Ryan's birthday in Ms. Mauer's room. Um, another birthday I missed was on the 7th, it was Ms. Jones's birthday in first grade. So happy birthday to all of those friends. We hope you had or have a great birthday. We had the vocabulary word last week of sequence and our winner is Laomi in fourth grade. She wrote sequence is putting things in order. Um, and then she gave an example of a sequence too. Great job, Laomi, you're our winner. We have a new vocabulary word for this week. This word is non-living. Non-living means not alive. Things that don't grow, they don't need nutrients, and they don't reproduce. So a cloud is non-living, pencil, bicycle, a drill, a chair, or um, a notebook. All things that are non-living are not alive. All right, final thing um, before I, I get to uh, one more important announcement is our core essential of patience. Waiting until later for what you want now. So there's a lot more to patience than just being able to wait. It's also about being able to control our actions and avoid getting annoyed or angry. It involves pausing to think about the bigger picture and not just the present. Patience is, is waiting until later for what you want now. Excellent job. Um, it's important to remember that bigger picture, right? And being able to remember, you know, I am part of the team here at Hamilton that's working together to, to try and make a great learning happen every single day. Um, and sometimes that's going to require patience because we all can't get what we want at the exact same time. Absolutely. Okay, another important thing I want to announce today is we have, um, today is a really unique day because there's a solar eclipse that's happening this afternoon, which is pretty cool. Your teachers are going to be talking to you more about um, solar eclipses, um, which, but, which is a really um, interesting scientific event that happens. Um, but it's also an important thing that we need to talk about um, in terms of safety. So when there is a solar eclipse, it's really dangerous to look at it with just your normal eyes because the sun can get really, really bright. So it's really not too much different than what you normally do. I would tell you all every day of school, don't look at the sun. That's not a safe thing to do. So today I'm going to tell you that same thing. Don't look at the sun, right? That's the rule of what we need to follow. Um, it's going to be happening at dismissal. It doesn't change anything for you. doesn't make things unsafe for you. Um, but it is important that we're remembering what, um, what we need to be doing. So we need to make sure we're going home straight away. We need to make sure we're not looking up at the sky so that our bodies can stay safe. I'll be reading some other announcements this morning too about the, the eclipse and how we can stay safe. All right, Hamilton, I hope you have a wonderful day of working hard and being kind. Oh, also, with our eclipse happening this afternoon, we are going to be staying indoors for recess in the afternoon. That's happening across the district, so that's a, that's a district-wide thing, okay? All right, we, um, I hope you have a wonderful day of working hard and being kind today. Make today as great as you are. And at this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 